fight is underway. We will see how it plays out. It's a pick em fight according to Las Vegas, and really hard to think of a weakness that we have seen on film from either guys in the U.S. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the team. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so low on that they have every skill, and that is going to be on display tonight in this match. Looking for a guillotine. He might get a finish here. Yeah, so a quick night at the office for him here tonight. He told us he wanted to be efficient. He didn't want to waste a lot of time. He felt his opponent knew the takedown attempts would be coming, and he got the fight to the ground relatively easily, and his submission skills then took over. Big, big result for him early in round one tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliot has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 12 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. Time! You ready? All right, so here we go, round one. I can barely get myself thinking in this arena right now. Two of the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this arena. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of... Yep, got to be very careful there. Oh, nice! No, actually, oh. he's to an inverted triangle to try to get the finish. Wow, you don't see that very often. Oh, he's in trouble here. Submission beautifully executed there on the ground. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round. And get that man a singlet, man, right? Offensive wrestling on point tonight. That was a tutorial. That was every single takedown you could secure in a fight. He did it all the right way. He's beating his opponent. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 13 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out to a reverse triangle. Assassin! other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think they're getting a kickboxing match tonight? Yeah. You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. And there comes the separation now. Big ball for punch land. Now we get back to range. Left punch is clean, followed by a right. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Slips to avoid the right. Just out of range with that strike. And he comes through with a big knee.
Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliante has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, eight seconds of the very first round. You're playing the winner by knockout, Anthony Lionheart. Ready. So the fight is underway, we will see how it plays out. It's a pick em fight according to Las Vegas, and really hard to think of a weakness that we've seen on film from either guys in their UFC careers thus far. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. Oh, man! He ate that kick. He took that whole kick. And now he lands a combination! Oh, straight right! The shot. Big punch man over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, that's a big hook to the chin. There it is. See that left hook again. He keeps getting hit with those left hooks. He is all about that left kick to the body. Oh, huge right hand. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Back to the feet. Look at him working at trying to shut the middle. Elbow up. from the clinch lands. Oh, big hook. That'll leave a mark. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Solid leg kicks landed there by Breeze. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing. What an offering up over the top. This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very bad. Oh, that's a nice strike. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Yeah, left hook found its target. Oh, it's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. It probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing this kick with so much force. He lands a big knee to the body. Ooh, that knee. Big that knee. knee hurt him. Back and forth we go. the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 58 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Tom Lee. Ready? These guys have been on each other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on. These guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Nice defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. And they separate. 
the hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do. Right into side control. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Lenz gets back up again. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, this is not good. That right eye starts to shut. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. That is it! Goodness, what a fight. Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment. Ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. go to Bruce Buffer, he has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has fought a stop to this contest at two minutes, 13 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by Knockout Assassin! Guys, these guys are as well rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Oh, you can hear the thwack from here as he lands another leg kick in DC. Now we're seeing visible damage as that leg starts to redden up. And now you start to see the damage. And now you start to see the limping of the opponent. Watch as he gets kicked in the legs. Turn it away. He can't even get any pressure on his front leg anymore. He is beat up. That leg has been tenderized by this young man. Right punches there. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, really accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice hit land. Oh, big left hook there. Nice punch by Mills. Beautiful body kick. Beautiful right hook counter. And the takedown attempt. But he does not land it. That is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Nice right hand. Checks the leg kick. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Level chain, leg, finish the takedown. Great job. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Just out of range with the big right hand. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Nice punch there by Mills. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, it's like it's there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Oh, big elbow. Oh, big left. Oh, what a round. Stop, stop, 
back up. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stung him. So on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. No problem. Got caught. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. One, two by means. Down there, how good is his takedown defense? Means his lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Do you believe it? And that will do it. Unbelievable! What a fight! A near perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So, just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 59 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout. Ready. So the fight is underway. We will see how it plays out. It's a pick em fight according to Las Vegas, and really hard to think of a weakness that we have seen on film from either guys in their division. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food team. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded. They have every skill, and that is going to be on display tonight in this key matchup. His opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any you've ever seen. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. at the commitment to kick it in this fight. Look at the angle of that nice body. Woodley gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Out of range with that one. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Double leg, good shot there to land the takedown. Nice shot by Wood. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Oh, he's feeling it now. Nice combination there by Lee. Great punch, landed with so much power. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Kevin Lee. Blocks the shot. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, just misses. That could have been lights out. Nice counter left there. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Plus right hand is true. Man, looks a little wobbly on his feet. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got it.
fight. Oh, 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 big left hook there. Seconds winding down in the opening round. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. All right, with that, we have arrived at round two. Tyron Woodley. And that man, the Motown phenom, Kevin Lee. Big kick lands. The slip, and then the counter by the chosen. Oh! Oh! Left right combo is good. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No freebies, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike you have now. Oh, and he finally gets the takedown now. So what they say, if try, try again. If, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again, and this guy is the poster boy for that saying, because he shot many takedown attempts, and he finally has security. All right, so another swing and a miss, and I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you got to find times to try to preserve that energy and, and get yourself back to a place where you can actually go out some damage. Yeah, you got to get out to space, find places to rest and recover. Get against the option, go to the clinch, find ways to just recover from that continue to pile up 54 total strikes have landed for Tyron Woodley and as for the accuracy rate DC 48% tonight against Tyron Woodley well a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat wow actually got the takedown gets up again here but hurting just missing on the uppercut there as we've seen all night. Huge straight punch land, and he's got to go very bad. And just like that, the fight is over. Oh, my goodness. What a performance. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Crush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. There he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called to stop this contest at three minutes, 53 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, Kevin the Motown Premier martial arts they can teach everything when they're locked inside of the octagon i'm so excited to watch the highest level of mma on display tonight tried to set up the straight left but he missed oh and he connects with a punch there dc you like this guy i like this guy a ton and to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face well perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Blades gets the double leg takedown. Oh, man. This round and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and combinations. 
Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Now he's on top of him. And that's, that's gonna it. do it! That is it! Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. Official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levin has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 12 seconds of the very first round. We're playing the winner by knockout, Curtis Lacey! for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know. Oh! Yeah. All right, early round one here. Big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that at the jet. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's the taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's going to have to take something on the way inside. Nice kick. certainly made good use of it there. Nice punch lands. He lands the head kick. It's under three minutes now to go on the round. connected for Johnny Walker. A little single collar tie there. Well, the Octagon, not a great place to be when you're looking for a rest or a stool. His stamina has been a huge issue. He's oh, that punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Oh, he's got He's hurt bad, Johnny. He's got to press him. No Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you gotta show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to 
get the job done. All right, the official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliato has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 44 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC but heavyweight champion of the world, Johnny Walker! Ready. two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down the field. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. Oh! Jab by him there, got that to the target. Quick. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! You can't break your will. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Oh, lands a stiff punch there, nice connection. Oh, nice land. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, and he caught the kick. Under three minutes to go in round one. Oh, and he is getting tagged repeatedly. Nice combination of strikes up top. Oh, beautiful combination up top. I don't understand why the guy is not moving his head. Get your head moving, son. He continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Nice punch by Ponzinibbio. Strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that pick. Well, you know, I don't like the knee very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Both guys really throwing with authority. Just missing on the uppercut there. Big kick land. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. Oh, nice right hand. Oh! Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. Oh, single collar tie here. Nice punch there by Ponzinibbio. Nice body kick right under the elbow. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Hook shot lands. Whiffs on the elbow. Big kick. What an end to round one. Like he might have landed there instead, a swing and a miss by Santiago Ponzanibio. How about that chin? Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combination. DC, he's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight ones are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Oh, he lands a shot. Oh! Some real power shots here. Whoa! He's in trouble. 
He's hurt bad. Up, but man, is he hurting. A finish could come here at any time. Back to the jab now, no good. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go change that finish. No! Oh! oh. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish this fight. Oh, big left. right there it couldn't have landed much more flush than it did and i'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming quite frankly so near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the ko here too. Right, let's take a look back at the replay it ends up a knockout but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it i mean a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight but both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart one guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at 2 minutes, 56 seconds of round number 2. Playing the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. Huh? DC, you know what it's